Welcome to this video. Today we are doing an antivirus test of Avera, the free version. And I have a folder here full of malware samples, 20 in total. And so we're going to test to see how well Avera does or does not do as far as protecting us from these samples. Please note that both Avera and Windows 10 are both up to date as of today. And as far as an overview of the procedure, what we're going to do is first activate Avera because as of right now, it is turned off. We'll wait a few minutes to see if it detects anything, after which we will run a computer scan and then scan the samples file directly. And then if there's any samples left after that, we'll try to execute them and see if any get through. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've waited for a moment or two here and nothing has popped up. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the samples folder to see if that prompts anything. It looks like it has not. So we're going to go ahead and run a scan and we're going to scan the entire system. And then uh, we'll let that run. And then we'll, we will be back with the results as soon as it has completed. All right, the scan has completed and it looks like it came back with multiple results found. And so we're going to go ahead and apply action to move them to quarantine. Now that those results have been quarantined, I'm going to go ahead and close this and let's check our samples folder to see how many we have left in there. So it looks like we have two, except this one I just now noticed has a size of zero, which means this is a bad sample. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just go ahead and delete that. So I know at the beginning of this video, I said it would be out of 20, but it looks like it's actually going to be out of 19 because we had one bad sample. So I apologize about that. So what we're going to do is scan this folder directly and see if it picks up that last sample. And it does not. So we're going to close this. We're actually going to try to execute it and see if Avera will stop it or if it will let it through. And it looks like Avera caught it. So it did not go through. So it looks like we got 100% detection with a Vera antivirus. What I'm going to do is we're going to restart the computer and then we're going to run some second opinion scans just to confirm and verify nothing got through, but it looks like we might have 100% detection on this test with a Vera. After the computer restart, I ran a scan with Malwarebytes and it came back clean with zero results detected. I ran another scan with MZSoft and it also came back clean with zero results detected. After scanning with Hitman Pro, it also came back clean with zero results found. And last, I did a scan with Zamana, which also came back clean with zero results detected. So in conclusion, just as a final word, Avera did score 100% on this test or 100% detection. Nothing got through and it did perfect on this test. But please keep in mind that does not mean that Avera is automatically the best antivirus available. You have to understand that there are multiple different kinds of tests as well as malware changes on a weekly, daily basis. So does antivirus software. And so when an antivirus does well in one test, it may not do as well in another. So you do have to keep that in mind. Regardless, it did do perfect on this test. And I would also like to mention that the best antivirus on the planet, in my opinion, is you, the user. Nothing beats education, especially when you know the do's and don'ts of the internet. That's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.